Welcome to the Ebenezer Show. We Musel. Oh yes, today we are in county number 15, the Kitui County. Welcome to the show because this far the Lord has brought us. And today we feature a great gospel artist from Kitui County, Mr. Chalo. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Kindly say hi to my viewers. Martin Data, together, let's go. Wow, a real gem we have today. Mr. Chalo, mm -hmm. could you kindly, now I'm just calling you Chalo, the viewer would like to know exactly <laughs> what is your full name. Where in Kitui mm. do you actually come from? My full name, I'm called uh, Anton Chalo John. John is my father. Chalo is my family name. That is the, the Kamba name. Mm -hmm. I come from Kitui, county number 15, from a place called uh, Chen, is a village, from Matinyani sub county. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Matinyani. Matinyani. Sub county. Yes. And uh, which constituency? Constituency <laughs> Kitui West. Kitui, so your MP is? Yeah, is a uh, Madam Nyenze, <laughs> Edith Nyenze. <laughs> Edith Nyenze yes. is your MP. Yes. Wow, that is good. Mm -hmm. Now we are here because you are an artist. Mm -hmm. Now we have heard your music. We've loved your music. How did you plan to become a singer? How did you grow? Were you singing when you were young? Um, uh, at what point did you become a singer? Yeah, I began singing when I was a, a young boy. Mm -hmm. I'm brought up from a family of musicians. Oh. My grandpapa passed on some five years ago mm -hmm. while he was a, a choir member. Member, uh huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. My mother used to sing. Uh huh. And from my family, we, are, we have so many singers. We have around five of us who have done music, mm -hmm. recorded albums. How many? About five of us. Your brothers and sisters? My sister, I have one sister, mm -hmm. the others are cousins. Five in the same family? Yes. Uh -huh. So I'm from a family of musicians. Ah. Yeah. So I began singing when I was very young. Mm -hmm. From Sunday school, mm -hmm. I used to lead songs mm -hmm. in the Sunday school. I was a soloist in our church choir. Uh -huh. Until the time I realized that I can I can do music. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, did you do music as a subject in school, or you just found that you can sing? I never went to a school where I could do music. Mm -hmm. I wished I could be in a school mm -hmm. because I could have done music as a subject. Mm -hmm. But uh, singing to me came as a talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I'm glad. Yeah. And now, now that. Uh, you, you started feeling that you can sing. Mm -hmm. Do you compose your music or someone composes the music for you? I write songs for myself. Uh -huh. I sing. Uh -huh. I do backup for myself. Not what? unless I need a lady voice in my music. 90% uh -huh. of my music, I've, I've written the songs myself. Mm -hmm. I've done myself backup. Wow. Yeah. Which is the first song that you did? My first song is called Yale Umetenda. In Kiswahili? In Kiswahili. Mm -hmm. I did an album of uh, five songs. Mm. No, six songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one in English, all the others are in Swahili. When was that? That was in the year 2009. Uh -huh. What yeah. was the inspiration behind that song, Yale Umetenda? Yale Umetenda is a song that came after a long struggle with, with, the, with the stomach ulcers. I had a problem of stomach ulcers. Sorry, when was that? That was in the year 2007. Mm -hmm. 2007, 2008. Were you in school that time? No, mm -hmm. I was a teacher. Uh huh. I was employed as a teacher uh -huh. in the year 2004. Mm -hmm. So after some while, mm -hmm. I developed a problem of stomach ulcers. Mm -hmm. So in that period, you were stressed up. I had a lot of stress in the year 2007, 2008. Sorry. I was even hospitalized in Embu, number mm -hmm. five, for a week. Wow. Then after that, mm -hmm. I went to a moment of prayer and fasting. Mm -hmm. And then I, I got that song, Yalo Metenda. God ministered to you. God spoke to me through a song. 
Wow. And then I wrote the first song, Yalu Metenda. Did you record the song? I record the song. Mm -hmm. It is a song that has taken me high. In fact, I love that song very much. Would you like the viewer to share the song with you? Yeah, very much. Wow. Let's hear that song by Anthony Chalo, Yale Umetenda. Yale Umetenda Chalo. Mm -hmm. How do you feel when you listen to that song? I feel so inspired mm -hmm. because the song was talking about so many things that God had done to me. Mm -hmm. So I was giving thanks to God, mm -hmm. telling him that whatever he has done to me, nobody could have done it. Mm -hmm. Only God yes. could and have done. Are you healed now of the ulcers? I'm healed. Wow. Completely healed. You don't even take antacids? No, no, no. no. And you even. can feed on anything? Anything, anything. Hey! I'm completely healed. That is a miracle. Yes. You really had to sing to God. He yeah, has yeah. really I had done a, a lot. I had a reason to sing. Wow. Yeah. Then how many albums have you done, Anthony? I've done seven albums. Mm -hmm. I'm now working on the eighth album. Wow. Seven, yeah, seven. albums. And you seven started singing albums. in 2004? I started singing in 2008. That is when you recorded the first one. Yeah. So it's like you take like one year or two to come up with an album. There is a period of time mm -hmm. when I I never I never did some some music for some time. Mm -hmm. When I went back to university. Oh, okay. So I had a lot of like some four years, mm -hmm. a, a span of four years without doing some music. Mm -hmm. So I gave myself time to concentrate with studies. Mm -hmm. And I remember by then I was still teaching, oh. so I had a lot of challenge in giving myself time for music because I was doing a parallel program. Mm -hmm. So the free time that I had, mm -hmm. I spent it on studies, mm -hmm. so I did not concentrate much on, on music. But this time now, mm -hmm. I'm doing at least an album per year. An album per year? Yeah. So you have composed, you have a bank of songs. You I have, have composed a lot so many of songs of composed. Ah, now tell me something. Eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so where ulisoma, ukasoma, mm -hmm. ukakuwa mwalimu. Yeah. Then after some time, you mm -hmm. thought of going to do your undergraduate. Yeah. Are you thinking of doing your masters? <laughs> uh, not really. Not really. <laughs> and the undergraduate, you did it in music or in something else? No, I did it in a religion. Oh, yeah, I did religious studies. Religious studies, mm. so that you are able to understand this God more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's why. Yeah. Now let's go back to your music, mm -hmm. and uh, you you definitely come from Kamba land. Yeah, and we love Kamba music. Yeah. Kuna ile wimbo umetunga style ya kikamba ile ya kuanza na climax. Ziko nyingi sana, ziko nyingi sana zimeanza na unajua kamba music inaanza na climax mm -hmm. na inamalizika na climax. So niko nazo, niko nazo nyingi. And kamba. what is it that inspires a kamba song to begin from the climax? <laughs> 
I cannot even tell, mm-hmm. but uh, it's it's our style of music. Mm. It's our style of music. In answer to the climax, in <laughs> <a> climax. <laughs> and it keeps you there it somewhere. It keeps you up, up a Jew, mm-hmm. all the time. Wow, yeah. Kamba music is quite, quite, quite lovely. Yeah. And now, which is this Kamba song that you feel that probably you would like the viewer to share with you? In it, uh, Ukali Kava. Ukali Kava? Yeah. What is that? Utaingia wapi. Ukali kava, yeah, uta... ukali kava, utaingia wapi. <laughs> ya ni song ambayo, uh-huh. inaongea kuhusu siku ya mwisho. Oh. Ya, yeah, so wali ni utaenda wapi mm. after this time. Okay. After this now live, mm. where will you be? Where will you be? Yes. So, you, what are you advising people? What are you telling people in that song? In that song, uh, ni swali, mm. the whole song is about a question. Mm. Wewe unaishi maisha haya, unaishi maisha haya, ujajipanga na mungu vizuri, so mm-hmm. inauliza utaingia wapi. So the song is advising people to stay in salvation so that after this life, we shall meet our maker. Wow. Yes. Would you like the viewer to hear that song? Yes. Ah. Yeah. Okali Kava, Anthony Chalo from Kitui County. Where will you go after this life? Yeah. Wow. That tells me you are saved. Yeah. 